So why are you here? This was the first wonderfully welcoming question I heard from one of my classmates 3.5 years ago. I had just shown up to one of the new student activities excited to get to know the others. And instead, I was faced with this interrogation about why I was here in Pittsburgh, eight hours away from my home in Tennessee. Honestly, at the time, I had no idea what to say. But I mean, it was a pretty important question. Why was I here? After all, Shadyside Academy would eventually take up four years of my life. That would include 148 plus hours spent driving back and forth from home to Pittsburgh. And yes, I did really calculate that. Countless hours on FaceTime with d physically distant friends and family. And what did I receive in exchange? Was it really worth it? Only now, after sitting down to write this speech, do I truly have an answer. My name is Melody Mengzi Yuan, and this is my senior sage. I came to Shadyside as a new student, both excited and terrified of what awaited me. I didn't have any friends or any knowledge of the school. I was going in completely blind. So I launched myself into my schoolwork. I spent hours perfecting my essays and studying for quizzes, hoping for the validation of an A at the top of my page. For a while, I succeeded, until one day I walked into my English class and met the worst fate possible, a reading quiz. Spoiler, I forgot to read the book. This brings me to my very first piece of advice. Allow yourself to fail a reading quiz. Sorry, English department, I know they're important, but just hear me out. There's a lot of pressure placed on students to succeed, either from parents, teachers, or even ourselves, and we beat ourselves up over not meeting expectations. But in the long run, this won't really matter. Sometimes it takes failing a small quiz, panicking, and then realizing that your final grade didn't change at all to stop placing so much pressure on yourself to be perfect all the time. Obviously, we're here for the education that we receive, but there's so much more to a shady side experience. So as much as this is my advice to you all, this is simply an ode to shady side. If you know me at all, you know that most times I'm in the dining hall, it's for the soup. Almost every day, I rush to the dining hall, completely bypassing the hot food line and going straight for the delicious soup that awaits me. Nothing can beat the salty goodness of the beef noodle soup or the taste of a soaked oyster cracker in the chicken and rice soup. And if nothing else, I personally think that a warm cup of wedding soup is the perfect thing to warm you up when your friends decide to eat lunch outside in absolutely freezing weather. Great idea, Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. Shockingly, I had never tried the soup before this year, but now I can't imagine my high school experience without it. Yet I never would have discovered this vital thing without allowing myself to break my routine once. This brings me to my second piece of advice. Even if it's not the soup, try as much as you possibly can here. Shadyside is a great place to explore. For example, when I first came here, I wasn't much of a football person. And honestly, even now, after going to a few games, I'm still not. But I wouldn't have known this if I hadn't tried. Try as many things as you can, even if you don't think you'll like it. Go to a soccer game, audition for the winter musical, even though you can barely hold a tune. Join a new club, even if you don't know anyone in it. You should join ASU, by the way. You'll learn a lot about yourself and the community that surrounds us. Maybe why are you here is an easy question to answer when you're talking about a simple cup of soup from the dining hall, but it's also one I asked myself at the start of what seemed like just a normal high school party that I wasn't initially planning on attending. After all, it didn't really seem like my scene, and I could have spent that time packing or doing homework. But one of my best friends, thank you, Riley, convinced me to come with her, and it ended up being one of my favorite nights of high school. It began with an admittedly very bad game of ping pong where I accidentally hit someone's glasses. Lachlan, I'm so sorry. And somehow ended with me jumping into the pool with all my clothes on with no hesitation. I will never forget the feeling of floating on my back, staring up at the dark sky surrounded by all my best friends. Take risks. Let yourself not know exactly how the evening is going to pan out. During finals week last term, I was absolutely swamped. I had a fa final paper to write for the next day, and I had, you guessed it, not started. So I did what any responsible student would do. I went to a hockey game with my friends. Nothing beats the feeling when there's only a few seconds left in the period, our team finally scores, and the entire student section jumps up yelling with pride. Did I have to stay up late that night to finish my paper? Maybe. But did I also have a great time watching the game? Definitely. Sometimes it's worth doing something a little dumb to build relationships with the people around you. The people that I went to this game with taught me my next piece of advice. Let yourself cry in front of someone who cares about you. I know how difficult this is. It took me years to be able to do. I used to shut myself in my room, ignoring every are you okay text and offer to talk for my friends. But in high school, I caved as I went through some of the most painful moments of my life. 
Open up to the people around you when you finally go through a devastating breakup. Open up to your best friends as you watch your family fall apart during the inevitable yet still unexpected divorce. Open up to the stranger that would eventually become a best friend during a midnight trauma dump session. Open up to your favorite teacher when they validate you and say the words that you've always wanted to hear, I see you. Everyone I've met here at Shadyside has been an amazing support system for me. Let yourself be vulnerable. There's no shame in being hurt or emotional. You don't have to hide when you're struggling. The people here will always support you. And finally, why we're here on this planet, let alone at the school, is to love people. So my final piece of advice is pretty self-explanatory. Tell people you love them. We only have four years of high school, and trust me, they fly by incredibly quickly. There are people that I've known since freshman year and also people who I just managed to meet this year but both have something important in common. They played a huge role in defining my experience here at Shadyside. To be completely honest, I contemplated leaving twice, once at the end of my freshman year and then the middle of my sophomore year. I was struggling and I wasn't sure if it was worth it. Both times, my parents made me stay, and I'm so glad they did. The past few years have been vital to my character development, and I can't imagine spending it anywhere else. Who knows, after I graduate, I may never get a chance to come back here to Pittsburgh, but I will never forget what I experienced and felt while I was here. As cheesy as it is, it's true. After you leave, you won't remember the grades you got on physics tests or history DBQs, especially since I still can't remember if my class ever took one. Instead, you'll remember all the moments you spent with your friends in between class periods being dumb, the late nights you had talking about life, or even the dining hall wedding soup. Sorry, I had to mention it one last time. Even this moment, me giving a speech to the whole school despite being terrified of public speaking, will be forever etched in my mind as part of my high school experience. You're only in high school once, enjoy it while you can. I have so many regrets about moments and experiences that I missed out on, and I urge you to do your best to search for the thing that makes you excited to stay. Class of 2022, we have been through so much, including being deemed the hell class, and I hope that all of us make the most of our last three months here. Dear Shadyside and everyone that's impacted my life here, I love you. Thank you for being the reason why I'm here today.